Hey everyone, welcome to Philip in the Cloud. Today I'm coming at you with a new feature in IBIS 4.0, uh, which is the IBIS.read uh, feature. Um, and it, uh, it may look familiar to people who've been using Pandas for uh, a long time. Uh, I know uh, it, it has been, a, uh, I think, a welcome addition to, uh, to the IBIS uh, cast of characters. So let's get started. So <clears throat> oftentimes you're handed a big pile of CSVs uh, from whoever or wherever and you're asked to do something useful with them. Um, and There are a lot of tools kind of to deal with this, right? There's of course the Unix command line tools, you know, head, cat, sed, etc. Um, and so let's, let's uh, so let's take a look at the data with some of those tools. So I'm in IPython right now, but if you use the bang syntax, you can of course uh, shell out and run kind of whatever you want. So here I have a bunch of stuff. I have some CSVs, I've got some parquet files, and and what this data set is, is it is the, the movie lens data set, which is a data set of uh, movies uh, with, uh, I think, titles and ratings. Um, actually, no titles, just ratings. And then I've also kind of pulled the IMDb data, uh, which is a, a basically a big pile of CSVs. It's It comes compressed. You can see here that I've done some kind of manual decompression uh, and we're going to we're going to kind of show how ibis.read can handle, you know, all these different use cases. And so the goal for today is to compute um, the uh, let's see, we're going to compute. Um, let's see, we're going to compute the rate. We're going to compute ratings um, uh, for a given movie uh, and look at um, Right, which which uh, we're gonna look at the ratings for a given movie, right? Uh, and then we'll we'll just poke around like a few data sets. So let's uh, let's just pull up let's just pull up the uh, the movies movies data, and we'll kind of show how how to do that. So I'm gonna import IBIS. Great, looks like uh, IBIS is not installed. Okay, I have to just hack it for now. Cool. All right. So we've got IBIS, um, and then I'm going to set uh, interactive mode to true, uh, so that we can kind of get instant feedback and kind of show the real, the real like part of the value of of, uh, of combining IBIS.read and, and interactive mode. Let's go back to that data, uh, that directory that we were in before. We got this stuff, and let's just take a look at movies. <clears throat> Uh, dot CSV. Okay, kind of run of the mill CSV. We've got movie, movie ID, title, and genre. Um, and we can write movies dot CSV. Okay, you'll notice that took a, a non negligible amount of time uh, because what's happening under the hood is that it's, it's, it's kind of spinning up an in memory DuckDB connection. Uh, the files themselves, or the, it's not reading the data set in memory, but DuckDB does read a little bit so that we can say get the schema information. And, and right, we can just wrapper that and we get our nice rich wrapper, which has, uh, you know, the proper types, movie ID is an int, title is a string, genres is a string. And you can kind of just kind of, you're, you're kind of off to the races like right away, right? So if we're, if we're, you know, kind of being data purists, we can split on this, you know, character here, the pipe and and maybe we'll get an array, cool, or a column of arrays of strings. You know, if you really wanted to, you know, you can you can use Ibis to just clobber that with the new thing, right? That's pretty sweet. I'm going to import the underscore uh, API so that we can have some convenience and don't have to write a bunch of lambdas. Um, now, like I said, we're going to look at the ratings, but um, we don't actually. Uh, we need to. We need to basically get you know like some. Uh, let's see. We need to get the rate the ratings right. 
Um, so let's see. Okay, ratings, and let you know. Similarly, we have you know ratings.csv. Oops, not CVS. It's got user ID, movie ID, rating, and timestamp. <clears throat> and we can take, we can do the same thing, or you can say ibis.read, ratings.csv. Now we've got ratings. I think I called this other thing T, so let's actually just rename that to movies. So now we have movies and we have ratings, right? And a simple kind of analysis might be, well, let's look at the, you know, I don't know, the the top rated movies, uh, or rather the, the movie, the top, you know, five movies with the most ratings, okay? Right, because each user is going to be potentially going to be rating, you know, multiple, uh, you can already see user ID one has rated, you know, a bunch of different movies. And if you wanted to get a picture of that, you know, you could say value counts, right, which is going to do a group by count on the user ID column, we're going to descend, uh, we're going to sort by, um, I don't even remember what, let's see, what this value counts, what's the schema of that? All right, it's going to take a second. Okay, it's called count, right? So we can do um, uh, order by, uh, let's see, we can do uh, count desk, uh, and then we can do like a limit five on that. And we can see what user has the most ratings. You'll notice that it actually takes a bit because this particular, we're looking at CSVs, right? And if we do a word count on ratings.csv and count the lines, we'll see it's got 25 million uh, lines. And, and this, you know, that, that's fairly quick because it's just reading in bytes and then counting new line characters, whereas like DuckDB actually has to read in the data in chunks and, and kind of do the same new line separation, but then also cast to... Uh, you know, particular in memory values, especially user IDs and int, so it has to actually parse the string, turn it into an integer, etc. And so you can see that user ID 72315 is rated, has, has given 32,000 ratings roughly. Um, and so we can, we can, you know, join the ratings. Uh, if, if we want to see kind of, you know, the title of the movie alongside its rating, then we need to join ratings in movies, right? So we'll we'll say, we'll call this rated movies. We'll say movies, and then we're gonna join on, actually I don't remember what exactly the key is. All right, we've got movie ID, and then we've got, oops, movie ID again. All right, so we're gonna do uh, rated movies, and we're gonna say ratings.join movies, and we're gonna join that on movie ID, now we can see rated movies. And you notice that was pretty quick, um, and that's because there, the, the, to do this particular join, um, you don't actually need to read in the entire, uh, you don't need to read in both CSVs. Um, if you contrast that with pandas, for example, right, for, with, because pandas assume, you know, assumes everything's in memory, you actually have to read in the rating CSV and the movie CSV, and they're kind of just sitting around in memory regardless of what you end up, you know, kind of using at the end. So now uh, let's look at the top rated movies. So the first thing we're probably going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to group by the movie ID. Uh, so we're going to say group by movie ID. Uh, we probably want to Actually, let's group by the title. And then we'll take the, let's see, we'll take the count of that to see how many ratings uh, a given movie has. So this would basically indicate that it's probably a proxy for the, you know, the, like a movie that has been watched by many people. Okay, so this actually does need to scan both files at the same, you know, bo both files, right? Because we're going to do the join and write all of the rows need to be scanned. And we can see that 
Um, Toy Story has a lot of ratings, but of course, I don't know how to do data analysis, and I forgot to actually write count descending, and then I want to limit uh, to the top five movies. And it's going to do the computation again. Ibis doesn't cache anything for you. Um, this is kind of a trade-off in the you know in the space of, of things to to optimize. So right, so the top five movies are Forrest Gump, Shawshank Redemption, Pulp Fiction, Silence of the Lambs, and The Matrix, um, which which kind of makes sense. So that that is basically you know how we how we go from from you know zero to a hundred with uh, with ibis.read and. Uh, it has some other interesting uh, properties that we can kind of talk about, um, but I won't go into too much detail here. Uh, but you can, I happen to have converted, you know, some of these things to Parquet files, but you can you you can read Parquet files with that as well, right? So you can do, uh, you know, movies dot Parquet, and that gives you the same thing, and it'll probably be probably be faster. And of course, like. We can join those because it's all kind of just DuckDB under the hood, right? So we can say rated movies. And we can do our we can do our uh, our analysis again with that parquet file and hopefully that's a little bit faster. It's still probably bottlenecked by the rating CSV, of course. So there there may still be, you know, some gains there. And of course, <clears throat> I have the ratings in parquet file. We could do that as well, but I'm not going to do that here. Um, if you're interested in uh, in trying out kind of the bleeding edge, get involved. Uh, ibis-project.org. Uh, we're on Gitter, and have a good day.